Remember these? Yep, yeah, it's potpourri. And it's still... Whew, smells awesome. Been in here about a year. And I thought to myself, you know what? It's getting close to Christmas. And I love Christmas. Oh my God! And I did a potpourri bowl out of this stuff a while ago now. It actually turned out pretty awesome. Well, I thought so anyway. So, as it's getting close to Christmas, I've still got loads of this stuff left. I thought I'd make something else with it. But before we start, this video is sponsored by Vikings War of Clans. This was kind of supposed to look like a Viking. This game was inspired by the strategy and RPG games of the 90s. Kind of like Command and Conquer. I used to play that game all the time. It was absolutely awesome. Those of you my friends watching will know what I mean. It was pretty cool game. What makes the Vikings world so addictive is there's over 20 million online players and they're consistently changing the way the game evolves by never ending fights over resources, forging new alliances and competing in live events. This game is absolutely awesome. You've got to check it out. It is really, really cool. Please check out this game and help support the channel by downloading this game. It's free, but you've got to use the links in the description below. If you do, you'll get a special bonus 200 coins. Or coins? Or should I say, coins. 200 coins. And obviously a protective shield, which you're going to need, especially if you see me out on the battlefield all available on your mobile phone. So thanks to Vikings for sponsoring this video. Please check it out. It's a really cool game and it really will help the channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you out there. Kinda sound a bit more piratey. So back to this project. Now I reckon this is gonna be really funky. So stick around to see how this goes. Now I'm loving this. That is cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just glue, I found this wild mango. Um, I'm gonna take a chunk of this out, um, but and sort of in, put it into this top, which will form a lid later on. But we also need a bottom as well. So I'm gonna glue this on here for now. And then that will give us our basis. We'll have to leave that overnight to set. So let's do that and then we'll come back to it afterwards.
Okay, so we're just roughing this out, trying to get this round. But I've got a little tip for you. A little trick. You probably know it already. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get this round. And obviously you've got this bit here, which is the clear, uh, shiny bit, which I haven't touched yet with my uh, tool. And this bit here I have touched. So if you've got a light in here, shining down, or maybe some daylight coming in, um, this will give off like a glimmer on here. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. But there's like a shining glimmer on here and it obviously won't shine on here. So when you spin this, you can see a line. I don't know if you can see that again in the camera or not. But I can see like a shining line from here to here. Now I know that I need to get rid of that shining line. And then once I've done that, I know that I've touched the whole piece. Without having to keep stopping it, to having to look to see where I've gone and I'll look at it and go, all oh, right, I haven't done that bit yet. Um, keep going, keep going. So you just follow that shining light, really. And again, I'm not too sure if you can see it on the camera. Let me just check. Oh yeah, you kind of can there. So you've got this light here, see? And you watch as I turn it, I'll just basically try and get that to disappear, that whole line there. Once I know that that's disappeared, then I know that I've done everything I need to do. I know, genius, right? Yeah, baby, yeah! See? Oh, so as you can see, i followed that light and got rid of that line in it, and now I know that I've gone all the way back to where I need to go. And this is looking cool, look at this. This is going to be really nice, I reckon. So I'm going to try to maybe shape it in some kind of a little barrel sort of shape here and here. Um, I'm going to take a piece of this off though. So I want to insert this into the lid, which I reckon will look really neat. So I'm going to take a little shaving off of this now. Okay, so cutting this resin is pretty messy job, but someone's got to do it. I've cut this little slithering off, and we're going to be using this a bit later on. I'm thinking I might insert this inside the lid. I reckon that will look really, really cool. Right, so this is what we've got so far. Yeah, it's a bit of different wood there, but I reckon that's going to look all right. So we're going to get this back on the lathe, and then we're going to form the lid.
Right, so I've just applied a bit of Viking grit. I mean, Yorkshire grit. But I think Vikings might have come from Yorkshire. Now, for some Viking wax. Look at that! Now that is beautiful. And that is so smooth. Smooth as a Viking's bottom. All right, so this is what we've got so far. So I've hollowed this out now, and as you can see, it actually looks really cool without kind of any shine up at the moment. So I've gone quite deep in there. Um, I probably shouldn't have made this that thin because it's very weak. It has got a little tiny crack in here, which is a little, I've, I've glued it up with super glue anyway, CA glue, but it uh, should be all right. Uh, it's a nice snug fit for the lid, so this should be really nice. And obviously where we had that bit at the bottom, that's going to look really cool. So hopefully you'll be able to see through that. And obviously it depends upon how much patience I have got when I'm sanding it. So this is actually really quite nice. I like it. So let's get on and get to the sanding. Don't you just love the sanding?
Check this out. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm loving this. Just look at that shine. That is gorgeous. Unfortunately, yes, I am blowing my own trumpet. Again. But just look at this. This is just so nice. Really, really chuffed with that. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. This potpourri is awesome. And it still smells beautiful. Just like potpourri. Okay, we're not finished yet. We need to put a little finial on the top. Now, I don't want to go with my traditional finials. I want to do something a little bit different. Not too sure what, but, well, I don't know. I guess it would just be what it will be. The potpourri pot. What do you reckon of this? This has come up really, really nice. Pretty funky, I reckon. Fluffy? Ah, thanks. No problem. Cheers. Bye. Woohoo! Take me to that funky town. I want to take me to funky town. What do you reckon? Happy days. I love working with this potpourri stuff, it is really awesome. 
had some questions last time I made a potpourri bowl, and yes, it still smells of potpourri. What do you reckon of the finial? Not too sure, but actually, it's growing on me. I used up a bit of this Spectra Ply stuff and put in a little button there, just to kind of make it look a little bit different. I think I like it. And you can see through it there, which is really nice. Well, kind of. So that's kind of, that's, that's a really cool effect in there. And again, I could have shined this up even more than it is now. But again, you've got to be pretty patient for that. It takes a long time. You've got to keep sanding and sanding and buffing and buffing. Buffing and buffing. Sanding and sanding. And more buffing. And it will come up like glass if you really want it to. But it's pretty good as it is. Got my emblem in the bottom. Although these are my old emblems now because it says NZ Wood Turning. And obviously I've kind of ditched that. As you can see, that actually fell off in the heat, but it probably fell off for a reason. It was trying to tell me something. Change your channel name, Nick. Change it. But there we go. But still, I've got quite a few of these emblems, so I may as well use them up. I will get some new ones done with my name on the bottom. So maybe these would be worth a bit more money in the future when you find one in like a hundred years time. People will be looking at it going, oh, this was one of uh, Nick Zamedi's older pieces. That's quite rare. It could end up on Antiques Roadshow. Let me just pop this open. It is a bit tight. But it's always good to be tight. So there's the inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, happy days, happy days. Cheers. <laughs> I think that looks nice, I like it. And it fits kind of snug. There you go. Ain't coming off. Well, I hope you like this one. Uh, it did take me a little while. Um, just because you've got to kind of got to wait for things to set, got to glue up the wood, leave that kind of overnight really. You don't have to leave it overnight, but I do. And obviously the resin, the potpourri, blah blah blah, bada ball, bada bing. But there you have it. God, I look a bit scruffy, don't I? But then again, I am in my workshop, working. So I used numerous different tools in this one, uh, a lot of carbide tools, and I used easy wood tools negative rake scrapers as well and they are pretty cool for doing resin not to mention their little tiny baby ones just think while you're watching this i'm actually wandering around new york city see if you can find me <laughs> if you're from new york or if you're down the road get a cab train probably hanging around the lego store because i'm definitely going to the lego store gonna check that out might look at the spider-man building but i'm obviously in town for makers fair so, so that's as we speak. So come and find me. If you don't find me walking around New York, I'll be at Makers Fair on Saturday and Sunday. I'll probably be hanging around with my mate Bobby Duke and my old bearded mate, Derek. He has got a bigger beard than me. Well, I hope you liked it, folks, and I hope the video wasn't too long. Then again, I have done a few l shorter videos recently. So a long one now and again, it's not so bad. Sorry I haven't done any Waffle Wednesdays recently. I will be getting back into doing a few of those. I probably won't do them every single Wednesday, but I haven't done one for a few weeks. But I will be doing one of those. If you don't know what that is, kind of that's me kind of waffling on. Normally put my videos up on Wednesdays. Kind of a bit of an update on all sorts of things in the shop and stuff that I'm doing or going to or whatever. Stuff that I've received. It's pretty cool, come and hang out with us. So one thing before I go, I was thinking about setting up this new membership kind of join thing on my channel. What do you think? It's kind of YouTube's new kind of membership thing. So you sign up to it and it's a couple of pound a month, granted. But obviously I'll give you members something in return. And I was thinking maybe we could do maybe a live, a live video every month and a giveaway every month. Obviously exclusive to the members. I could chuck up a few pictures and a few posts for you members as well. But I don't know. What do you reckon? I think it'd be pretty cool and obviously helps support the channel as well, but also gives you a little bit of exclusivity. Can't say that word. Exclusivity. 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 That's it. Exclusivity. Let me know what you think about it. Well, thanks very much for watching the channel, guys. Don't forget, I am in NYC as we speak. So thanks to Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video. Please check out the links below. It really will help support me and my channel. Plus, it's a really cool game. 
So thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much to everyone that's come over to the channel. I really appreciate your support. And thanks to all my old subscribers for sticking around. I've got some more funky projects in the pipe, so don't go nowhere. I'll leave stills up at the end as always. Take care and have a fabulous weekend. Or a funky one.